everyone, this is Ina with Inichka Chef and welcome to my kitchen. Today in episode we are cooking tea, chai tea. I'm a big drinker of tea. I love any tea. When cold weather arrives, all I want just to drink tea. And um, I like to make my own spices for my chai tea. And for the best health benefits and for the best taste, I always recommend to use whole spice. I always buy whole um, black peppercorn, um, whole cinnamon and cardamom. Um, they, they all smell so nice. I love any star. <laughs> I really, really like any star for Chinese cooking as well. And for this recipe, I'm using tainted um, ginger, but um, dry ginger can be used as well but I prefer this one in this recipe and I'm using maple syrup sugar, very <laughs> common ingredient up north and in Massachusetts, Maine, um, Vermont, but you can find those um, pretty much everywhere. TJ Maxx have, um, and I will link below um, all product I'm using and um, especially the tea. I use loose tea and I like the quality of this tea. It's um, organic. And I'm using for many recipes include um, when I make my kombucha. I also include that kind of powerful spice turmeric and lately it's, people talk about turmeric a lot, how it's um, inflammatory and uh, anti-cancer and so many good benefits as well. But I truly believe like in old days people um, uh, thought that black pepper is king of all spices. And I think it's true because so many dishes, pretty much every dish I use um, black peppers, it's everywhere. And the uh, black pepper has peppermint and that um, component is, um, has many anti-cancer and anti-inflammatory properties along with antioxidant and many others. So no wonder why in old days they prescribe <laughs> spices and herbs as a medicine. Even today, um, many people still believe that's true. I'm one of those <laughs> people. So let's begin to make and yes, for the um, liquid, I'm using coconut milk. You can use dairy milk on any non-dairy, like cashew milk. I like for the creaminess, cashew and coconut, but almond milk will work as well, or really any milk you prefer and you trust. So let's begin. It's simple ingredients, two cups of milk and two cups of water. And this recipe, I chose this spice, combination of this spice, I believe, um, black pepper, ginger, and turmeric. Uh, it's great combination and it has more power and more healing properties if you combine together. Um, also, um, anise, as I mentioned, orlin, cardamom, I love all of them. But uh, for this recipe, you can also play around and see what you like. Uh, bay leaf can be added, uh, cloves, uh, sometimes add any spice. Uh, can be added in a small amount and try what you like. So now two cups of water, two cups of milk and two cups of water, cinnamon, maple syrup, sugar, tea, turmeric, any star, ginger, about one teaspoon, And now cardamom is in. I got rid of it all parts, only seeds. Black peppercorns, not a lot. Oh my goodness, they tried to escape. Oh my God, it smells so good. <laughs> Here, the last, and let's boil. It smells so delicious, unbelievable, so much aroma and I smell coconut um, a lot along with other spices. It took only 10 minutes, 5 minutes to the, bring to the boil, then I cover and s turn off the heat and steep for another 5 minutes. Totally um, took just 10 minutes. So now I like to sift to get the all spices and if it's not sweet enough, you can always adjust the uh, sweetness. I like to serve this tea with extra uh, sugar, uh, maple sugar on side, so you can adjust your sweetness um, to your taste. Let's try. <laughs> I just spilled. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> Thanks 
for watching this video and I hope you enjoy and give me a like if you do and subscribe and share with your friends that's most important share my videos with your friends anyone who you think you will enjoy my videos and thanks again for watching and for all your support bye see you next time